Journalists have tried with great courage to maintain a space for freedom of expression in each of the three countries we looked at. Nevertheless, their resistance was largely unsustainable. Many have been killed. Others disappeared. Others brutally attacked and tortured, as was described. In such conditions, substantial numbers have decided to flee and resist from abroad. Others have felt it necessary to self-censor. We have witnessed over a decade of considerable international attention to the attacks on journalists. Yet, the problem remains and appears to be growing worse. In effect, little practical action has been taken to protect journalists by the international community. It is the lack of political will that runs through all the evidence we have considered. Therefore, the issue that must be discussed internationally, how can the political will of the people in each country be supported so that governments are forced to respond and freedom of expression can be developed and maintained while journalists and media workers are protected? 